Hello friends and welcome back to my vlog. My name is Anna and I create solo travel vlogs, often traveling around Europe, but this time we are traveling to Alaska on a boat. I am traveling on Holland America for a seven day cruise from Vancouver to Alaska on the Koningsvan boat. Probably mispronouncing that. I'm actually joined by my family, so I'm seventh wheeling currently on this trip. So I still identify it as solo travel because I'm not with a buddy. I get this room to myself. Thanks for being here, join along with the vlog, and if you're new here, please subscribe, hit that button below, like this video, send us some love. Let's recap on what just happened for the last day and a bit. favorite candies and they used to have them as five cent candies at the gas station when I was a kid but they've kind of come out and now I guess Cola is making them again they're called live wires so excited yeah baby they're back two bucks officially arrived in Vancouver, technically Richmond. We're gonna check into the hotel for one night and then tomorrow morning we'll be boarding the Coroning Dam. <laughs> Konings Dam. Is that how you say it? Konings Dam. So we'll catch you in the morning. I can't even capture the whole ship, it's so big. But here we go. most deluxe version of a hostel room I've ever been in and part of me is a bit sad to be here single compared to my family. Part of me here is so stoked to have the room to myself because I just get to lounge as I wish. I've got a bed, <laughs> there's a couch, there's a chair, there's a deck to myself. Oh wow 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 we're gonna have to give you a room tour. I cannot believe my life right now and where I am and this type of travel experience. I didn't really think I'd ever be on a cruise this like early in my life, but I'm here for my dad's 60th birthday and I am so stoked to be joining the family on this adventure. And I'm taking it literally as that because this type of travel is not one that I really know. So I'm excited to see if I like it and how this living situation goes. But luckily I've experienced living in more confined spaces and I am spoiled because I have packed so many things because you don't really have a limit for luggage here. So I actually packed suitcases. So everything I said about carry on before kind of went out the window this trip, but I'm also not flying. So I didn't have to pay for an extra check bag because we drove here. <sighs> before this adventure gets started, let me give you a room tour also before I like completely move into it. All right, so I'm currently standing at the front door and as I walk back, we have my bathroom to my right. We have a closet to my left and then we enter what we could call the bedroom space so this is a queen possibly king bed all to myself 
We have a beautiful little, little nightstand here where we can also do like two little drawers, which will be nice for all the cords and things. Looks like they have a USB plug and then a North American plug. Yeah, it's North American. And then we have a couple coat hangers here, which will also be nice maybe for my robe. Let's go back to the bathroom at the front here. The bathroom is like so gorgeous and anything I've never seen before. You can see me filming in the mirror. So we've got a sink here, which is beautiful. We've even got glasses, nice. Great storage, that's really helpful. We've also got an outlet here, hand soap, lotion. Nice to see that they're like filled up kind of containers, not one use. I'm really happy with that. Kleenexes, and then we have a beautiful toilet. And then we have the shower here, which looks like a nice shower head and it comes with shampoo, conditioner, but like let's enter the shower. Two people <laughs> could easily fit in here. So this is pretty exciting. Looks like I have a also a trash can and another towel down there, but like plenty of towels. And I've done housekeeping before, so I plan to keep it as clean as possible because I feel for the housekeepers. We've come out of the bathroom. Let's check out this closet. So it looks like we have plenty of hangers. There's also two towels of Holland America branding down below. This will be so nice to hang up clothes because yeah, then they just get to breathe. So it's like awesome. We have a second closet, but I guess if you were like sharing with the person, theirs, his and hers, hers and hers, his and his, thems, so nice. And an umbrella. I didn't bring one, so that was good. <laughs> Thank you. And then in this closet, it looks like we have a robe, which I might be utilizing on this trip. And also a safe, which we'll see if I use it. I kind of feel like everyone knows there's a safe in the room, which makes it less safe. Weird theory. We have a mini fridge stocked with so many things. Oh my gosh, gin and tonic, champagne, a Heineken, a Chevernet, Cosmopolitan, Sprites. I don't even know what those are. We did purchase the quench package, which is non-alcoholic beverages. So I'm gonna have to double check if those are complimentary or not because I'm still on a budget on this trip. And then it looks like we have some drawer spaces here. One, two, three. That's gonna be so nice. Also, I feel like I'll probably put my luggage up there somewhere or maybe they go under the bed. I don't know. Then we have another little bar space, darling. Some glasses. Maybe someone <laughs> left some Werther's. I'm um, all for no food waste, so that's fantastic. We've got a nice little water station, which I super appreciate because I love to drink a lot of water. Oh, here we go. Here's a little menu. And then I also have down below a little blanket. This will be lovely. Maybe sitting on my veranda. So that's so nice. Oh, hey, that's kind of the closet space. Now we're heading into the bedroom space. On my bed is the daily program, June 3rd, Vancouver. Tonight's attire is casual, which if you didn't know, cruise ships, I guess, have like dress codes each night. Thankfully my parents had been on a cruise before, otherwise I would have not known. And things you should do is install the app. Once you have the app, get the internet room, where is where you can talk to other people. So that's really fantastic because there's six other guests on board that I know, which is so fun. Enter a giveaway in raffles. I will be entering to win spa sources. Um, yeah, and it kind of gives you like the dining rooms, the hours, all the different activities we can do, which is crazy. And then we have the bed space. Let's give it a test. <laughs> oh, it's nice and firm. I think I like that. I just feel spoiled to be in a room alone because this is a tight quarter to live with someone, which I guess the idea is that you're not staying in the room a lot. I'm gonna sleep like a princess. Did you see the little hip when I did that? <laughs> Now we're entering into the living space. So here we have a desk, which will be so handy. And you can see me in the mirror vlogging. But anyway, what's more important is all the plugs. So we've got a USB, a regular, a European, lucky ducks. I'm always missing my adapters. More American, lots of lights. Bam, this will be a nice spot to actually maybe do makeup or a little bit of editing. And then on this side, we have a couch, which I'm not sure if my room, but a lot of the rooms come with pull-out couches. And then up here are like this, which are good because we need that. We've got a little coffee table. I might do a little judging because there's not a ton of floor space. And I've also made the rule to myself that no shoes in the room. So I'm gonna try and keep it as clean as possible. <laughs> Wow. Oh, it's one of those like close up makeup mirrors. We have a hair dryer. I love things that are labeled. What else do we have in these drawers? The drawers could use a little cleaning. I will be honest. 
I understand maybe it's water stained, but you know, we could find, we could get some hairs out of there. But after working housekeeping in um, one of my volunteer experiences, I have so much symp sympathy for housekeepers now, but I also under have like understanding of what the standard can be. Yeah, I'm just super grateful. I understand they work hard and like every detail can be missed. Same for me. Thousands of people on this boat. So for them to even like clean one room is really impressive. The bit you've all been waiting for. Let's check out the outdoor veranda. Right now the ship is docked at the port of Vancouver and we're gonna go outside and see what it's like. This is crazy. I hope it doesn't lock me out. Can you imagine? We've got one chair and two chairs. It is so warm on the deck. And we're at Canada Place. Beautiful chair. We'll have a chit chat here. So the check-in process was super easy. We are checking in at Canada Place. And the best part for me is that I've actually lived in Vancouver for 10 years. Coming to Vancouver was no brainer. I knew exactly where we were parking and where everything was. And I am joined by my siblings, their partners, and my parents, which is really exciting for us all to be together as adults. You check in at the Vancouver, you give them your bags and you put a luggage tag on it. I can recommend luggage tags below because it's a lot easier if they are clean and visible. They will deliver the bags and the reason for this is of course it like is a bit of a luxury thing but also it helps that when you're checking in people don't have suitcases everywhere and stairs and elevators so it definitely speeds up the check-in process and then you go through US Customs baggage control check in with just the, the cruise line but not in that order it was cruise line baggage control US Customs and then you board the ship I've got 15 minutes left to not only film some b-roll, which you'll see just a second ago, but also to kind of unpack and maybe change or adjust myself. <sighs> the energy is so high. I'm kind of like, you know when you see all these things on like videos, maybe not movies, but I'm like absolutely buzzing to try and experience this life. I've known many friends who have actually danced on cruise ships, so it's kind of crazy to be on board. Such a large vessel. Like to think that this is actually in the water right now is kind of bonkers to me. luggage mat more like this makes so much sense to me because why would we want to put our nasty luggages on our beds now you might be wondering is it actually necessary to unpack on a cruise ship and the suggestion is to completely unpack first of all we're on here for seven nights so i don't want to be rummaging through my suitcase every day and because it's such a tight room you want to find places where you can put your suitcase put it away and if you are sharing this room with a partner or a friend then definitely have your closet have your things organized or at least in the cupboard it doesn't matter if they're folded or not I'm a type of person who likes to put everything away at once, so I'm rushing a little bit here because I've got to go meet my family soon, but we're going to do as much as we can. So there seems to be two drawers here. One is like a blanket of sorts for the end of the bed. And the other one has an extra towel. Honestly, my carry-on suitcase could fit in there, but I think the trick in the cruise room is underneath the bed here. That is where you should store your suitcase and someone left a receipt. Let's see what they bought. Ooh, they bought a deep tissue massage with the ultimate booty body boost on top. We gotta go soon to meet my family for maybe a little snack, a little drink. Little recap, so I'll catch you soon there. Welcome, MTV Grims. <laughs> Hello, that's so. Not me. Oh. You yeah. wait. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wash my pajama shorts. They got wet. You don't need to know this. Cut that all out, Anna. 